happy Love You Bye Friday. Oh, are you excited, Tom? It's Tom's? back. I am excited, mate. It's flipping back. This is the phone-in show on Twitch where you can call and come straight through to me and talk about wrestling, life, the universe, everything. Uh, how, how much I suck, how much mm. you suck, whatever. <laughs> come talk about whatever. If you fancy being a part of it, it's 4 o'clock British summertime, oh. twitch.tv slash cultaholic, and it's just live calls about anything. Anything? Anything? Anything. Cats on pianos. I mean, I mean, that's the top. So that's the top subject. In fact, if you call up and want to talk about cats on pianos, that means you paid attention to the news and you get one point for Gryffindor. Continuity. Mm-hmm. Look at that dab. Here's some wrestling news. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> that was amazing. AEW have signed a popular indie star. Technical problems occurring at tonight's SmackDown location and WWE is shaking up a classic event. We'll get to that in a bit. Look in my eyes, what do you see? CM Punk in AEW permanently? No, Uh, no, uh, no, 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 uh, no. uh. But Thunder Rosa is though! Yes! Yes. AEW confirming on Thunder Rosa's birthday of all things that she is now all elite. Now this is, this might not, you might think, hey, I thought she already was. She's always there. She's been working on sort of a pay-by-date basis for AEW, officially uh, affiliated with the National Wrestling Alliance. And uh, it came to light yesterday that she's now officially signed with AEW. NWA putting out a tweet wishing her all the best and saying, go and show them what we already know. Lots of love between the two sides. This is nice news, isn't it? So nice, so nice. She gels, she's had so many matches in AEW. She gels so well with everybody she's in the ring with. She's just gonna bring She's going to bring something nice and spicy to that women's roster. I think it's more a case that she'll continue to bring the mm. nice and spice. Yes. So it's like now that she's properly on the books, mm. I feel like we'll see a real, a real get behind Thunder Rosa. I'm going to call uh, that it's uh, Rosa that beats Britt Baker down the yes. road. I'm not wishing the end of Britt Baker's title reign yet because it's only just begun. Um, but I think that when the time comes, I think these two could have an absolute mm. barnstormer mm-hmm. once again. Yes. And go from there. Uh, she's been, or, and you know what? What an amazing 18 months or whatever Thunder, yeah. Thunder Rose has had. Oh my goodness. Everywhere. NWA. Literally. Like, yeah. Just, Impact. And, and, and everybody just knows who she is now as well. And rightly so, too, because she, she's just phenomenal. She's really made a name for herself. Uh, you can listen back to her episode of Desert Island Craps if Ooh. you feel so inclined, uh, in which she, of all the things she wants to become in wrestling, and there's a lot of goals that she sets herself when we spoke last year, uh, one of the goals she set herself is to become a MILF. And she says that Sorry, herself. What? A MILF. Sorry, what? That, that, that was the words of Thunder Rosa she in spelled, our chat. She spelt milk wrong. <laughs> That's right. She wants to become a milk. Yes. A proper milk. <laughs> uh, Smackdown tonight is a double location event. We are, we're, this is part of WWE's plans to uh, to make the TV shows a little bit more interesting uh, by, by doing specials and things like that. And the plan is for tonight, Smackdown to come from the Rolling Loud Festival simultaneously. A simulcast like WrestleMania 2. <gasps> if you're of a certain vintage. Uh, slight technical issues there at the moment, isn't there, Andrew, at time yes, of recording? Yes, there certainly is. So uh, WPLG News in Miami, Florida reported last night that a portion of the staging for the Rolling Loud Festival, which will feature, as you said, live segments on tonight's episode of World War Air Friday Night Smackdown, collapsed. So from the Rolling Loud Twitter, uh, they put out a tweet saying, in case you see it on the news, a screen fell down at one of our stages. Nobody was hurt and it will be fixed before doors open tomorrow. The show goes on. So, I mean, thank God nobody was hurt, but uh, still. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. So if you do read stories today, they might suggest, oh, Smackdown's in bits. It's not. It's going to be fine. It's going to be absolutely fine. I like this, though. I like Mm. it because it kind of smacks of when NXT UK did stuff at Download. Yeah, of course it does. Yeah. I like that. It's kind of like a nice, gritty environment. And I I quite like me wrestling sometimes in a gritty environment. Me too. And like we were talking about before, you know, Triple H talking about wanting to bring in like different different fans Mm. and stuff and different generations and everything. I think this is like the best way to do it. Just combine it with rap. I think... WWE has inherently had a lot of a lot of um, sort of mishmash with rap throughout the years as well. Anyway, so this seems like the perfect fit for him. I'm a big fan. I'm intrigued to see what they do with that. It's tonight. Uh, it'll air from the uh, Rolling Loud Festival, and if 
everything else from Cleveland, Ohio. Round on the end, high in the middle. Uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling star uh, Hiromu Takahashi is coming back. He's been cleared to return. Uh, doctor says that he's he's allowed to get back in the ring. He tore his left pectoral mm. uh, in a tag team match. Consequently had to vacate the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship. Big fan of any wrestler that brings stuff cats to the ring. Yeah, and he's everybody's like, oh, Seth Rollins and and, uh, and John Morrison's got that drip. Nah, you got nothing on Hiromu Ta Ta Takahashi. Bless you. He's got nothing on the. <laughs> I, I got I got my words coming. Nah, we got there in the end, didn't we? It's this Yorkshire tongue. <laughs> but yeah, he, he's a force. He's a force we reckon with. I'm really excited to see him get back into it. It's been a really weird time for New Japan Pro Wrestling in general. They, they've had to become uh, this sort of moving beast because uh, you know, not away from sort of wrestlers being injured. We talked yesterday uh, about some health issues that are plaguing Kota Ibushi at the moment uh, and numerous injuries to other wrestlers and such. And obviously, Will Osprey having to vacate the title mm. due to an injury from here. Start. But they're dealing with all of that at the same time as kind of constant states of emergency. Yes. Shutting down events, rescheduling, mm. postponing. Like, one thing this pandemic has taught us is, is to all be moving beasts and yeah. just be able to pivot at the yes. last minute. You Without know? a doubt. Uh, so, uh, great to see Takahashi back, and it's some nice news from New Japan Pro Wrestling. Uh, from a coming back to a going away, Ooh. Impact Wrestling's uh, former Impact Wrestling champion uh, is heading away. Yeah. Isn't that right, Andrew? They are, yeah. So, Kira Hogan, uh, she said on her OnlyFans, you guys will be the first to know that this is my last Impact taping and I'm going to see what else is out there for me. I'm so excited and scared, but I know whatever I choose to do, I'm going to be the best and it's on. And that's on. Period. Boom. So she's dead. Period. Nice. Boom. Kira Hogan's fantastic. She's I good. would love to see her in NXT because she has a nice little history with Zoe Stark in there and the matches they put on together. Woo! One Ooh, of them. May so good. Maybe, maybe she could be part of a tournament. <gasps> oh, go on, tell him. W tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Tell tell him. him. Tell WWE shaking up a classic event. Our final Amara story. So the King of the Ring looks set to become the Queen of the Ring. Mm. This is according to Wrestling Inc, who say the tentative plan is for a Queen of the Ring to be a main roster show airing on Peacock or WWE Network. It's not known when the event will take place yet, though. So I like this. I mean, mm -hmm. I love the, like, I love the King of the Ring tournament. I've, I've always been a fan of a good tournament. I feel that the, 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 I think the issue that tournaments always have if they're one night tournaments, because yeah. the, the, you can hear the crowd get tired. Yeah. And it sucks, because I love a good one night mm. tournament. Uh, but uh, it's switch, switching out the King of the Ring to make it a Queen of the Ring, I think that's. Triple H, Triple H got very grumpy in a, uh, in a press call, I think back in June, I think it was, where and he was asked about would WWE do an all women's event like NWA in power? And mm. Triple H was like, well, we've already done it. There's no reason to do something else, and oh. you know it's it's a quality, it's a quality. He was he was in a bad mood that day. I think. <laughs> yeah, and that is Weetabix or or what somebody parked in his space. I don't know, but he was in a bad mood, and he was very much adamant against the idea of doing like another evolution show. Mm. Uh, but so obviously there's been a bit of a, a 180 on yeah. this, and, and if this looks like we're getting a Queen of the Ring tournament, let's have a little bit of a oh. A little bit of a booking of, a, of the fantastical variety. Okay. Who do you reckon for uh, for a Queen of the Ring? I would like to see for a Queen of the Ring. Kira Hogan. Kira Hogan. <laughs> you know, no, but something like that would be awesome. Like even like a Zoe Stark. Zoe Stark yeah. is so good, and to see someone like that. Ben Potter's favourite wrestler. Really? Mm -hmm. No way. From from there. I think he's streaming today. By the oh, way. Oh, go and watch Ben Potter stream. After Love You by Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, yes. I think he's on directly after. He's been kind of like that. Oh, okay. But Ben's favourite wrestler is it? Zoe Stark. That's really cool. Yeah. She's amazing. Uh, another one. I mean, I think Io Shirai is ready for something mm. else. Mm. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I'm just excited. <laughs> I reckon it should be Charlotte Flair in the final. Yeah. <laughs> but it should be somebody, it should be some, or, you know. Whoever beats Charlotte Flair wins the whole thing. Whether yes. you have someone like a Zoe Stark shock Charlotte Flair with, yeah. with a first round knockout and like, ooh. That would be cool. Hey look, we'll, hey, look, we'll see how it pans out. Maybe we'll, we'll do some pitches and stuff for it down the road. Who knows, eh? Who knows? Uh, Twitch.tv slash Cultaholic. Love you by Friday back today. I want to give that one more push. Uh, more news throughout the day and as we get it, at Cultaholic.com. Also, oh, what? fun little factoid, as we are recording this, in the studio over there, the lads are back together. Matthew, Jack, and Ross in the same room at the same time doing the Cultaholic That's Wrestling insane. Podcast. Amazing. 
The boys are back it's together. It's beautiful. It's actually, it, it, it makes me emotional, Tom. Puppet Jack sadly got pinged, so he can't be <laughs> That'll be on the YouTube channel later on today. Loads of other stuff coming out. Have yourself an amazing weekend. Kiss, kiss. Love you. Bye.